Hi guys, Mary Languish here. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to give you another quick little helpful tip for artists out there for how to basically finish and seal off your acrylic paintings. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this, but I found what works best for me is to either use a spray fixative or a brush on varnish. And so this is the brand I've been using, which I actually really like. Liquitex has this satin varnish. So it's not like super, super glossy and it's not matte. And I feel like I've liked this the best. Um, you can see on these paintings how there's just a slight, slight shine, enough to make it look like it's been painted, but it's getting rid of the chalky look that sometimes acrylic can have when it dries. It's kind of just a really nice, pleasing finish, I would say. Um, and it's brush on. So I wanna show you how this works. But before I do that, I want you to notice how there's like this little chart on here. And obviously read the instructions before you use it. And it is good to test it before you use it as well to make sure you don't ruin your finished paintings. This particular varnish is for finish. It's not for prep, it's not for during painting, it's literally for finishing a painting. When you're completely done with it, you put this on. Um, in terms of permanent versus removable, this particular one is more permanent. So they make ones that are varnishes that you can basically remove that you use, you know, during layers or something like that. Uh, this one, as you can see, is right between gloss and matte, which is kind of what I wanted. Because high gloss, depending on the painting, you're gonna get glare no matter which angle you're looking at. Whereas matte, it's just gonna look too chalky. And so I kind of like this in between personally for my work. You can kind of decide that for yourself. And then transparent, this is key because you don't want it to change your colors or lighten or make your colors look chalky so make sure that it's transparent instead of opaque when it goes on it's actually quite white so let me show you how i do this um, give it a good little stir you can do multiple coats i've kind of liked just the one coat um, and it says to wait three hours before or be wait three hours between coats so again make sure you read the instructions before you use it and depending on the size of the painting you want to use a good size brush. I'm gonna varnish this one for you today. Um, I'm gonna gently stir it up here. And I'm actually going to, and if you had a big painting, I would not recommend pouring it on. I would use something to dip the, or to pour the varnish into, and then you can dip your brush into it. So I'm gonna just like rub this on so you can see how it's kind of milky. Um, the key that I noticed in the instructions is you don't want to rub over it too many times Otherwise it can get kind of cloudy, you know, like picture Elmer's glue If you were to rub over Elmer's glue multiple times until it dried it would get just kind of streaky and white This can do that same thing So the first step I do is just kind of spread out all of the excess and then I am going to start at the top and just sort of varnish all the way down If there's too much excess, I can kind of wipe it on a brush what I did with these other paintings that have edges, I just use the excess on the sides. You just wanna brush over, again, not too many times, like this, that top part's probably done, I won't touch that again unless there's a weird puddle. But I just wanna slowly work my way down. Not too slowly though, because again, you don't want it to get too sticky, too dry, too quickly. It does not dry super, super fast, um, so you have time to do this. Oh, it's fun though, because you can really see, it makes the colors pop because it's taking away that matte finish that acrylic can kind of have sometimes. And it just, it just finishes it off. Now, the reason I've been liking this one is I feel like it covers the texture of the canvas better than like a spray fixative, which you can decide for yourself if you like that. Obviously, spray fixative is pretty quick but I feel like it takes a few coats for it to actually do what I want it to do. So this has been fun because it is such a quick, quick process and it really fills in that texture. So I feel like it's actually doing what it's supposed to do, which is protect your paintings from light, from dust, from glare, from um, just all of that stuff. So uh, that's how you do it and then it's done. So obviously it'll dry a little bit more matte than this because this is nice and wet. 
but this is generally what it looks like when it's dry with one coat. I like the one coat personally on my work, so you can decide kind of what's best for yours and how much your work is gonna be sitting in the sun or in certain elements or temperature changes or whatever. So yeah, there you go. There's my little tips and tricks for how to varnish and what varnish I do use for acrylic paintings. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.